got some surprises. You're gonna spin a wheel for a free letter. If you've referred a friend to words, you get a super spin. It's got packs of letters, extra lives. I'm gonna show you 12 puzzles. Use the keyboard to guess the blank letters in any order. If you guess a wrong letter, that's a strike. If you use up all your strikes, you are eliminated. You can now earn points in HQ Words to level up. For every level you pass, you gain a bonus strike. Did you prank call anyone today, huh? Tell anyone you're pregnant, maybe dip someone's finger in hot water, then something tells me you're gonna be great at this game. Hold on to your seats, it's gonna get wild! I need more water. Mm. Do I have anything in my teeth? Hmm? Do I have anything in my teeth? Am I good? Am I good? We're not live yet, right? Oh, we're live. Oh, we're live. Oh, we're live. April Fools, word nerds. Come on, I know we're live. I live to be live. Welcome to HQ Trivia. Okay, I'm gonna give you 12 questions. They get harder as we go. Okay, I'm just kidding. This, I'm sorry. This is HQ Words, you gullible chatters. I am your host, the queen of words, lover of pranks, Anna Royceman. Ooh, find me here on social media. Hey, how's your April Fool's Day going, huh? Anyone pull a big prank on you? We would never do that, okay? I already got them out. Those were my only pranks. This is just another normal, regular, no bear HQ words game, okay? Words are gonna be spelled out in an order. And it's gonna be great. Tonight's prize is $1,000. Ooh, go buy a whoopee cushion with that money after. You know, you gotta get someone today. But before we begin, have you used a super spin yet? If you've updated your app, if you've referred any friend to HQ, even if they have it, it's a clean slate, you probably received a super wheel. You could use it now, you could use it later, I don't know, you could use it next week, that is up to you. You might want the help tonight, right? Because this game is just normal and regular, it's full of fun words. It's gonna be easy. But now's the time to spin the wheel around my face. Okay, ready? Answers right now. Hope you have a pen. The Big Chill, Asparagus, Firefest, Horseshoe Tournament, Litter Box, Best Friends Forever, LMAOAF, Laser Disc, Fluffy Pillow, Saltwater Bath, Pen 15, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh, did you catch all of them? <laughs> I hope you wrote them down because they are just words I like and have nothing to do with this game. Got you again. Hey, guess what? It's time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more points you can earn. And honestly, Good luck, word nerds. May you make it through tonight on April Fool's Day. Your first hint is Christopher Nolan Thriller. Yep, yeah, that's what it says. Type in the letters O and M. If your volume is down, better turn it up, <laughs> okay? This film is about a man with short-term memory loss who is trying to find the person who murdered his wife, okay? He kind of has to work his way back, if you know what I mean. You got this. You've seen Christopher Nolan films before, right? And the answer is Memento! Or it looks like it's Oct Nem Mem. Oh, there he is. You see that? That Polaroid took the photo back in. It was backwards. Oh, how many of you got Oct oh, Nem Mem right? 138,793 got it right. 61,936 eliminated. I don't know why, that was a pretty easy one, huh? Hey, word nerds, there is nothing backwards about Thursday, cause we are heading to Scranton, PA for another night of The Office. Okay, we got trivia at nine, followed by words at 9.30. This is not an April Fool's joke. Okay, that would be cruel to all of The Office fans out there. But I can't say the same about this next one. This could come in handy. You might wanna focus on this hint for today. It's very useful, especially in a game like this, right? Because it just helps you see yourself, you know? Like a reflection. And the answer is, no, I'm not giving it to you yet. It's a hint for today. But the answer is 
Use a mirror. Use a mirror. I could use this mirror every day, all day. My HQ mirror. Ooh, use a mirror. Is it the first one that we just schooled people on? 68,000 are in. 72,956 are schooled, baby. You just got schooled out of the puzzle on use a mirror. It would have really helped you stay in the game if you just had one up next to you, next to the phone. All right, this next one, it's gonna be so easy, right? Especially if you're a fan. Oh my gosh. I'm talking about a David Lynch location. Also the title of this series, okay? It takes place in a fictional suburban town in Washington. And it's about an investigation of the murder. Another investigation. But there are a lot of supernatural qualities to this David Lynch location. So you know, things get twisted, things go backward. And the answer is Twin Peaks. It's Twin Peaks, that is what it says. I don't know why this chat, this chat is going crazy right now. It's Twin Peaks, 53,904 solved the puzzle, 18,250 eliminated on Twin Peaks. Okay, maybe you didn't watch Twin Peaks. That's fine, that's fine. I got you on this one. You might be a fan of this other science fiction show that stars this time traveler. We told you this would be backwards. This is a time traveler. This character can go forward and backward. And it is pretty miraculous that 14 actors have portrayed this title character. You got this. It's a British program produced by the BBC. Do you know what I mean? And the answer is Doctor Who. Here's Doctor Who for you. a big ball of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. Doctor Who, also known as Oh Rock Cod. How, oh Rock Cod, how many got it? Rock Cod. Tonight, 50,164 are still Hot Cod, if you ask me. 4,756 eliminated. Okay, this is the first puzzle that didn't take out like more than half of you. So you are catching on to this very normal game. Okay, sometimes in order to solve something or fix it, you have to work backward. Also known as deductive reasoning. This answer is an example of deductive reasoning. Okay, it's about breaking something apart to figure out how it was created in the first place. Look, I am not a scientist, I'm not a mathematician, but this seems pretty logical for a word connoisseur like myself. And the answer is reverse engineering. A lot of E's in there, reverse engineering. Ooh, 39,440 are still in this game. 11,029, we say goodbye on Grenine Dring Eservir, Eserev. I got that right. Speaking of reverse, are you familiar with um, this Beatles conspiracy? Some say if you play a specific song backward, you will hear something other than the lyrics that might suggest this conspiracy. Do you know what it is? Because it's the answer to this puzzle. And the answer is the conspiracy is Paul is dead. In 1966, they thought that. They thought Paul McCartney died and that some lookalike took over as Paul McCartney. I don't know, but if you play a song backward, you hear Paul is dead. 31,451, got it right, 8,900 eliminated. Hey, word nerds, I have a song that you don't have to play backward. It's, oh, we're halfway there. Oh, something cause you care. Woo, are we having fun tonight or what? Don't give up yet, okay, don't give up. Did we did we lose something today, though? Who here thinks that they lose their keys and their glasses and their phone all the time? You probably have to do this, okay? Let's just, let's backtrack. Let's backtrack for a second. This is the best way to do that, okay? If you're trying to find something that we need, we need to get home. This is important. And the answer is retrace our steps. How many got that one right? Retrace our steps. I was trying to retrace my steps. Like donkey. 
Donkey always retrace, had to retrace his steps in Shrek. Let's see if we have to retrace this one. Ooh, 27,975. Got it right. 4,654 eliminated on Spets Ruo A. Carter. Spets Ruo A. Carter. Easy. Did someone play a prank on you today? Okay, let me tell you something. You still have time to give it back. Because you know the saying, an eye for an eye. This is a great other way of describing that. If something does some, some, if someone does something to you, it is only even if you serve it right back. Especially on a day like today. I see you're loving it right now. The answer is turnabout is fair play. Just like this game, everything is fair, Play 7,500 even are safe. And it looks like we just got 21,114 schooled. They're schooled again on puzzle eight. I guess it wasn't so fair if you got out, but you know what? The, everything's fair. This is a fair play game, right? Remember when we were younger, remember going to Blockbuster and renting out a movie for the weekend? Tell me, what was this VHS rental request? Oh, this feels so old school to think about now. My mom always encouraged us to do this because it's really the nice thing to do. VHS rental request, that's what it says. The answer is be kind, rewind. Ooh, like the hit movie. Remember with Jack Black and most deaf? Be kind, rewind. Everything's backwards. You don't want to hand back a movie that's not rewound. 10,767 got it right. 912 eliminated. Ooh, we still have some, some hot, hot players. Sometimes if something doesn't go right, doesn't go your way, you can always blame the stars, right? Seems like nothing is aligned. Your hint is astrological scapegoat. That's right. If you have problems, this is your scapegoat, right? I probably used this like 14 times last week. I think it happened last week or very recently. I feel it, I feel it. Astrological scapegoat. You see it too, right? I'm talking about when Mercury in retrograde. Ooh, Mercury in retrograde, babe. Things do not feel aligned. They look like they're going backwards. Are they really? They're not. 8,059 solved the puzzle. 2,900 eliminate. We should do this every night. This is a great game. <laughs> Woo! All right, we are on puzzle 11. Hey, that works out. Forward and backward. 11, right? It's two numbers of the same number. We're still grooving through this very normal, easy game. Anyone a fan of this Bob Dylan classic? Let's dance. It has to do with, you guessed it, time. It's really a journey. Whoa, this puzzle is but a joke. Direct quote from this Bob Dylan classic. And the answer is all along the watchtower. Here's a clip from it. All along the watchtower, princess kept the view. For all those Bob Dylan fans out there, all along the watchtower. True story, 6,180 solved the puzzle, 2,531 eliminated, and true story, apparently if you read the lyrics from the end of the song to the beginning, it makes more sense than the actual order of the song. So read it backward is what I'm trying to say. You must be good at that, right? Because I watched you all along the way, and guess what? You just made it to the final puzzle. Woo, I can't believe it. You must be the smartest people on the planet planet, okay? What if the game already ended and I never told you? Huh, whatever. Bye. Just kidding, April Fools! Oh, I got you one more time. Come on, I'm here for you. Your final hint is, what's going on here? Okay, literally, if you don't know by now, I don't know how else to tell you. <laughs> Other than maybe I'll do, I don't know, maybe I'll do the backstroke here. Can you see it in my tiny little bubble, in the baby bubble? What is going on here?
tell you what's going on here. We're backwards. <laughs> We're backwards. Every word tonight was backwards, both in content and in presentation, right? We were backwards tonight, but you know what? Who's moving forward? 6,551 of you just won HQ words backwards. That's incredible. Congratulations. Literally a challenge complete. Be proud of that. That was awesome. <laughs> Woo. Let's see, who is fast tonight? Who knows their words, not only forward, but backward? You're going home with 16 cents tonight. That's amazing. K Gold knew their words backwards. What up, Chad 1M? Chad knows words forward and backward. And La La Rabbit Guy, I should say that backwards, Young Tableral. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just how I see words now, I don't even know. I don't even know where that came from. Congratulations. That is the game for tonight. Easy, pretty simple. I want to congratulate all of our winners. You have literally an amazing brains, okay? Commend yourself for this one. Commend yourself if you made it through a couple of these puzzles. They were not easy. I wish I could stay, but I have a flight to catch to Turks and Caicos in about an hour where I'm meeting my best friend Oprah for a little spring break. Uh, that's very true. That's not an April Fool's joke. I'm Nemsior Anna. <laughs> Even backwards, I'm a palindrome. <laughs> and you can find me here on social media, okay? I will see you back here tomorrow night on HQ Words at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Go refer those friends, get a super wheel spin. You still have time left for pranks, so you gotta let me know on social media what you do for this April Fool's Day. I love this day. Every day should be April Fool's, right? Word Fools, goodbye.